Let's talk about gold buffalo coins, an American masterpiece in precious metal form. You thought the gold eagles were the shit? Sure, they're respected, but only by folks who don't mind biting into an alloy cocktail. But if you're here for the pure deal, then gold buffaloes are your knight in shining gold armor, riding in like America just looked at every other nation's gold coins and said, nah, fuck that. Hold my beer. We're about to pull off the biggest mic drop in investment history. And boy, did they. First, let's break down why the U.S. Treasury even bothered with these beauties. The gold eagle was already a global icon, but it wasn't pure. 22 carats, yeah, but it's like someone spiking your drink with something extra. Meanwhile, the rest of the world, Canada, Australia, even Austria, had pure 24 carat coins flexing all over the market. So in 2006, Uncle Sam had enough. The U.S. Treasury was like, oh, y'all think you've got this purity game on lock? Sit down and watch the masterwork. Thus, the gold buffalo was born, a 24-carat heavyweight that took the crown, dethroning the Canadians and their maple leafs like it was nothing. Now, let's get to the real juicy comparison. Gold buffaloes versus gold eagles. Look, if you're a purist, buffaloes win, hands down. Gold eagles might have an ounce of gold in them, but they're also mixed with alloys like silver and copper. Uh, so yeah, you've got a full ounce of gold, but it's not 24 karat. It's like ordering a Wagyu steak, but the chef throws in some ground beef for the hell of it. The gold buffalo, pure, 100%. No fillers. It's that high-end shit. On top of that, because buffaloes have a more limited production and are sold only to the most trusted dealers, they're a lot harder to counterfeit. Meanwhile, gold eagles? Yeah, they get faked more often because their larger production makes them a target for knockoffs. Fakes everywhere. It's like the shady guy at the flea market selling you a Rolex with a second hand that ticks instead of sweeps. Here's the kicker, though. Some folks argue that the high premiums on gold buffaloes are a downside. But let's be real. If you're too cheap to pay the premium for America's first pure 24-karat gold coin, you're probably still trying to convince yourself that silver stacking is the way to go. Yeah, I'm talking to you, silver stackers. Y'all hang on to your ounces like it's the last roll of toilet paper in a pandemic. You, you think quantity means wealth preservation, but seriously, gold buffaloes are where the real investment is at. If you want to stand on the global stage and declare your financial dominance, you better have a buffalo in your hand. And let's not forget, the gold buffalo is more than just an investment. It's a piece of America, a patriot coin, if you will. It's a symbol of this country's we don't fuck around attitude in the precious metals market. The coin's unique design featuring James Earl Fraser's iconic Native American profile and, and a buffalo that makes you want to slap it on the ass and tell it to go conquer Wall Street is pure, uncut American craftsmanship. Good luck trying to counterfeit that level of artistry. The detail is so intricate, even counterfeiters are like, nah, we'll pass. So here's the deal. Trade in those gold eagles and step up to a gold buffalo. Because when it comes to gold, you either go pure or go home. And while you're at it, don't even think about silver. The price might be artificially compressed right now. The real action is in gold. And buffaloes are sitting at the top of the damn mountain, crowned kings of the investment world.